We have a carousel and a Ferris wheel and swings, and then they rent out paddle boats. Cameron Rose says Liberty Park is finally getting the recognition it deserves. It just and it just has everything. It's 80 acres of beautiful trees and lush grass and ponds and sports fields and pavilions and an aviary and a pool. Tracy Aviary is probably its most famous attraction, but there's a rich history few people know about. And it was originally a grist mill. It's the oldest commercial building still standing in Utah. Originally, it was owned by Isaac Chase, and then it got transferred to Brigham Young, the property, and then Salt Lake City brought the property from Brigham Young in 1881. Apparently, the park had other names before it became Liberty Park. Mill Farm, mm -hmm. Forest Park. Oh, I didn't know about Forest Park. And the third one, this one cracks me up, Locust Patch. Whoa. Which, given the, you know, plagues of locusts in the Bible, I'm yeah. thinking, that's not the best name. No, not <laughs> the best vibe. Yeah, right? no, I didn't know about that one. That's hilarious. Yeah. The most surprising thing I learned, Hogel Zoo's first home was right here for 19 years. There was a zoo here um, in the beginning. We had uh, an elephant here. We had bears. We had mountain lions and uh, they kept escaping and so they finally moved it up Immigration Canyon. In fact, there's a grisly story of an officer who was mauled by a lion while on duty at the park. He had a habit of patting the lion's heads while doing his rounds. One grabbed him and he later died from his injuries. We have the old greenhouse which is under renovations. <laughs> Cam has been on the job for two years now. Park rangers are a new addition. We have 18 rangers who patrol throughout our city. We have four main hubs, Liberty Park, Jordan Park, Fairmont, and Pioneer, as well as having rangers in the foothills. They're here to help, direct you, and handle issues that don't require law enforcement. What's not in the job description, but a welcome idea? Planning a birthday party. I love this park, and I was like, I feel like this park just deserves a celebration. After all, reaching 142 years is something special. One of our, our great rangers, Cameron, realized that Liberty had never actually had a birthday, even though it's probably one of our most popular parks. Um, and lots of folks love to use it for a variety of reasons. So it seems like a place worth celebrating.